Hi, it's Dwyer, richarddwyer.com, keepingitfree.blogspot.com. I'm a civil lawyer in Northern California, and I've been following the Bill Cosby situation. Let's just say I'm really surprised because I used to admire Bill Cosby. Used to. Past tense. When I was a kid growing up in the 70s and 80s. Lord knows I was looking for African-American mentors, uh, people who were successful, people who were, you know, promoting uh, positive imagery for African-Americans. And Bill Cosby really was a prominent individual back then. He took roles that you could actually feel proud of. You know, the Cosby Show was really a watershed event. Hard to believe now, but back then you really didn't have a lot of black males uh, on television who were in roles where they were, you know, not the janitor or the, um, you know, police officer or the hoodlum, but they were just everyday dads trying to offer good parenting and good advice to their kids and trying to be good husbands. So I appreciated Bill Cosby back then. But now I'm coming to find out that I didn't know Bill Cosby. Right? I just knew a public image. I'm deeply troubled, deeply disturbed. Not just by the fact that more than a dozen women have come forward with very similar stories of having received drugs from Bill Cosby voluntarily in many cases and then coming to after sexual encounters to which they contend they did not consent and yes I am picking my words carefully because Cosby has lawyered up and I don't want to get sued right but I'm also disturbed by the actions of Cosby's camp right in hiring Marty Singer, a very aggressive lawyer, right? And in making statements that they hope the black community comes to their defense. You've got to be kidding me. Why would I support anyone against whom this many people have made these kind of allegations, right? Understand, perhaps I've missed it, but Cosby has not categorically said that all of the accusations made against him are false. In fact, Cosby was sued for sexual assault, and Cosby settled that lawsuit. There's even a moment here during the last few weeks where Cosby's team, you know, after Cosby said, you have to vet the accusers, right? In which Cosby's team actually acknowledged that they weren't implying that the accusations that were made by the woman with whom Cosby settled were false. Think about that. Well, in the last few days, after we've gotten a lot of shrugs from Hollywood, right? Whoopi Goldberg. Hey, I don't know if Cosby is guilty or innocent. Right? You know, some statement along those lines. Hey, we'll see how this plays out. Right? I wonder if Whoopi would have that attitude. If more than a dozen members of her family came forward with these exact accusations against a third party. Right? Then you have Jill Scott, right, coming forward, you know, saying, hey, you know, I still believe in Bill Cosby. Really? Right? You know, well, now you have a very prominent, very successful, Hollywood director, Judd Apatow, coming forward on Twitter 
and making the statement after prior tweets in which he specifically refers to Cosby. He makes a statement, I am pretty sure I have had sex with less people than he raped. Now understand the word people is plural. I believe that statement implicitly states that Apatow believes that Cosby raped more than one person. Right? It's a watershed moment because we're going to find out whether Cosby is going to sue Apatow for defamation, right? Because if the statement is false, then Cosby would have a cause of action for defamation, right? This is a published statement, published online, that has been widely disseminated, right? It's being reported right now on Decider.com. I encourage everyone to take a look at it. Right, so up until now, Cosby's been tippy-toeing around directly challenging specific accusers. Right, apart from the girl who alleged molestation, right, where Cosby countersued, Cosby's been tippy-toeing around charging directly contesting the allegations of specific accusers. Right? Cosby's lawyer has been tippy-toeing around the idea that Cosby may have sexually assaulted more people than the one woman he settled with. Right? And of course he won't confirm or deny that assault. He simply says, I didn't mean to imply that this person was lying. Well, now you have a well-financed, high-profile person openly saying, right, that there are people that Cosby has raped, if you paraphrase the statement, right? Apatow wrote, According to reports on Decider.com, I am pretty sure I have had sex with less people than he raped. Let's see what happens. Let's see if Cosby sues Apatow for defamation, and then we get a public airing of the accusations in a court of law. Think about it. I don't think Bill Cosby wants that. I don't think Bill Cosby's going to sue Apatow. I don't expect Apatow to back away from his statements. Because I do believe there are many people out there who are outraged by the fact that society's response to such serious allegations by this many alleged victims, more than a dozen women, has received this kind of muted response. In fact, Bill Cosby is still touring. He's still booking venues. According to reports, in one venue he got a standing ovation. So understand the level of outrage is such at this point that there are many people who are going to support well-financed individuals bold enough to step forward and to make the statement, I am pretty sure I have had sex with less people than he raped. Right? So, let's see what happens. You have a high-profile person now accusing Bill Cosby of having raped people. Right? Cosby has lawyered up. Are his lawyers going to go after Judd Apatow? Does Bill Cosby want to risk having a trial where accusers actually show up in court and testify against him? Keep in mind, he already knows that several women were prepared to testify against him because they stepped forward during the prior lawsuit. 
which cars be settled. Right? What's gonna happen next? Keep an eye on this story. Keep an eye on whether Judd Apatow retracts his statement, whether the Cosby team demands a retraction, whether Apatow doubles down and says, yeah, that's right, I made those statements on Twitter, or whether we hear, as we've heard in other cases, that Apatow's Twitter account was hacked and that somebody else made the statements attributed to him. Also, keep an eye on the Hollywood community, right? People don't want to break ranks down there. Up until now, the response has been muted, right? The producers of The Cosby Show came forward and just said simply, we're surprised by these allegations, words to that effect, right? We don't know what to say, right? Whoopi Goldberg comes forward and says, hey, I don't know what's going on here, right? Let's see if a group emerges that openly says, I will never work with Bill Cosby again. I don't want to be involved in performances at venues that welcome Bill Cosby. Keep an eye on the story. Let me hear from you your thoughts. I hope you leave them here in the comment section for all of us to this video. Thanks for stopping by.